Master Shah Odun. Pardon my interruption. We've just received a request for immediate reinforcements from Lord Zhao Ong's unit. What did you say? Yes, I believe Master Zhao Ong and Master Zhao Unmin were on patrol in the vicinity of Wen Castle. Lord Zhao Zhao and Dian Wei are inside Wen Castle. What's going on in there? I'm worried about them. And now we have received a request for reinforcements at Wen Castle? This means that Zhang Xu surrender is... Assemble the troops at once! We must hurry to Wan Castle! You're all right. Forgive me. I took Zheng Jiu's surrender at his word, but it was merely a ploy devised by his strategist, Jia Xu. Dian Wei took it upon himself to hold off the enemies in the castle so that I could escape. He was already badly injured when I left. In fact, it may be too late to save him. However, I still have to try. I understand. Let's make our way to the castle as quickly as possible. Please wait a moment. We are facing a strategist who managed to catch even Master Cao Cao off guard with his trap. It is dangerous to simply rush in there. He may be expecting Master Cao Cao to return to the castle and prepared another trap in response. In that case, how can we save Master Dian Wei? We launch a feint to draw the enemy's attention and use that opportunity to see what they're planning. I wonder what the enemy strategist is up to. If we can learn the overall framework, we'll know how to make our move. Very well. I shall leave the details to you, Guo Xia. Everybody, we must hurry to Wen Castle. We will use the decoy unit to draw the enemy in. Meanwhile, I will use that time to suss out their strategy. So this strategist is the one that gave Master Cao Cao such trouble. I'm looking forward to turning the tables on him. Preparations complete! We are a decoy unit. We need to fight our way up to Guan Castle. We should focus on the officers near here first. Try not to push yourself too hard, Cao Cao. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. Our target is that... So this is the power of Cao Cao. A retreat! And request reinforcements! Yes. 
Okay. The enemy is focused on us. Continue the advance. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious. Yes. Brilliant. I've been surrounded by the enemy. Just what I need to deliver this information to Master Guo Jia too. Preparations complete. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deplete their morale. Let the enemy scouts escape! If word of our plans gets out! I didn't think I was going to make it out of there. Now I can deliver this message to Master Guo Jia. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Wow, you're better than I thought. Asking me why I'm doing this? These people are thieves and need to accept responsibility for their actions. Those who disturb the order and discipline of our ranks must be punished. The fact that we are on the battlefield changes nothing. Theft is a crime deserving of the harshest punishment. I shall carry it out myself. Uh, uh, our allies are attacking us! It's a rebellion, led by Master Eugene. What am I to do? You're asking me... Hmm... Excuse me? How about that? Right you are. <laughs> Shall we? What about this? We have to lure the enemy out of Watt Castle. Put on a real violent display. Right. Go wild and draw the enemy away from the castle. To aid Lord Zhang Wei. Preparations complete! I've done as Master Josh you asked. I'm to retreat. An outsider in trouble. Why won't Lord Jia Shu let us fight? We're not leaving our allies in danger. I'll go out and defeat our South forces. What about this? Necessary punishments have been meted out. Now we can resume our advance and attempt to make up for lost time. What about this? It wasn't a betrayal. Still, that was pretty frightening for me. Decoys so our plan could succeed. 
Why did I agree to this again? We've taken down a major enemy. Now they should be focused on us. We have successfully lured the enemy. Now, hold the line until we get the order. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Yeah. Wow, you're better than I thought. What? They've worked out Master Joshu's plan? No! Defend that fire attack unit! What about this? They couldn't defend them. Now Master Joshu's plan is finished. have contributed much, but we are victorious! Zhao forces must have sniffed us out. Men, we have to keep the fire attack unit safe. Target us here. The enemy strategist must be as cunning as Master Joshu. I fight to bring glory to our forces. Wow, they're better than I thought. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. What about this? What? I'm done for! Without us, there will be no fire attack! I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! I have captured this position!
Lord Hu Ching. Uh. A number of enemies have made it inside. That is rather careless of them. Now, are they up to something? Perhaps they are simply desperate. Either way, we cannot make our move until we deal with the enemy. They are small in number, so Master Hu Chir and I can handle that. This one looks like trouble. We could best meet up with Master Hu Chir to deal with this threat. There is still hope despite the circumstances. Knowing the other way, I should not have expected anything less. I must challenge my limits! Excellent! I failed to defeat Zhao Zhao! The sheer shame of it! Preparation's complete! You're better than I thought. You must have angered the heavens to face me in battle. What about this? Preparation's complete. expecting to find two such monsters in Cao Cao's army. I have no choice but to surrender. It looks like we are taking care of the bulk of the enemy forces. Now it's time for me to really make my presence felt. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! <laughs> I'm not finished yet. I'll use every last bit of strength I have to protect my lord! Reporting! Lord Xiao Chu and Lord Hu Chia have been defeated! Lost Jia Xu? And who's here? How do we fight without them? South South forces have made it all the way here? Incredible! They're that strong? Everyone, stand your ground! We will use the power of our cavalry to bury South South forces for good! All right. I need everyone to defend this area. You're a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. You're better.
better than I thought. This is the end for me. Joshua. My lord is really quite something. I'm glad I was able to serve. Master Cao Cao accepted Zhang Xiu's surrender. Your safety was assured. So why did you try and assassinate our lord? It is the tendency of the victor to rest on his laurels after a battle is won. I simply saw an opening for our side and exploited it. Cao Cao is nervous in regards to his upcoming showdown with Yuan Shao, no? As such, he immediately accepted our surrender. Surprisingly so, in fact. I never thought that I'd be able to take advantage of the situation to overcome such insurmountable odds. Of course, it mattered not in the end. Yes. It was only thanks to the efforts of Master Dion Wei that Master Cao Cao was able to escape. However, things could have easily gone quite differently. Where's Dion Wei? He is at peace now. Master Cao Cao, I will resist you no longer. You have bested us. I am ready to meet my fate, whatever you may deem it to be. In that case, Jia Xu, I want you to join me. W wait a minute, my lord. You're planning to let him live? Even after all he's done? If anybody should be punished, it should be me for falling victim to this trap and losing Dian Wei. Jia Xu's talent as a strategist, the skill of Zhang Xiao's men to execute the plot. In my opinion, that is something to be rewarded, not punished. Jia Xu. Is it possible that you foresaw this very outcome? <laughs> I wonder. At any rate, I appreciate your rather generous punishment, Master Cao Cao. Guo Jia, I want you and Shun Yo to keep an eye on Jia Xu, at least for a while. I may covet his talent, but that does not mean we can trust him yet. I must do all that I can to quickly subdue the Central Plains and prepare for Yuan Shao's move south. Our next step is to advance on Shu Province and capture Xia Pi. That means we must face Lu Bu himself. Everyone, begin making the necessary preparations. Master Cao Cao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiao Pei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? 
We dam the East Shui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Sha Pi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guo Jia and I will be successful. And Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. Preparations! I must hurry on ahead. It's about time we got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. A most impressive display of might. I shall do what I can to match it. I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quite. We completely destroyed this bucket. Yes, that is wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Breaking the floodgates and flooding Xiaopi? I will never allow that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. What about this? Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! What about this? I can't believe it. I've dropped my guard. I have shamed my father's name. What about this? from the sea! They did too! They must have destroyed the dam! Uh, A water oh, attack! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
What should we do? Should we leave the castle? Oh, if we leave here, they'll kill us! Get to higher ground! Hurry! <laughs> Oh no! It's no good! The gate won't hold! Ill Master Shun Yo! We finished destroying this floodgate! Excellent. We have accomplished our duty here. I must challenge my limits! Excellent! Order! Order inside the castle! with our allies on the front lines and slay Lu Bu. To those of you who support Lu Bu, know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. has been solidified. Now, throw open the gates and welcome your new ruler. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Very good. I shall remember your efforts. Forces have infiltrated the castle. Master Lu Bu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stomp on whoever I see. What about this? What? Why is the gate opening? Zhao Zhao's forces have attacked? What about this? All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Excellent! Sir Shafi 
to be the place where my dreams are ended. It is most vexing to watch one vision clouded by violence and stupidity. I fight to bring glory to our forces! Amazed. I didn't expect you to be this good. This place to the death. Slaughter any that come near. What about this? I fight to bring glory to our forces. Let me go, you impudent maggots! How dare you place ropes on the mighty Lu Bu? Sheer might, while shunning intellect and cunning. That is what led to your downfall, Lu Bu. What about this? I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lu Bu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Cao Cao, Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh! <laughs> Farewell, Lu Bu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh! Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such praise, but my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, 
Don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There is still a possibility that we may be able to use him, even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, Yuan Shao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, it is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we still have the chance. Indeed, Guoxia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao. My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself Emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Cao Cao. This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Sha Pi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guo Jia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward! 